first you want to find an image. You want to get an image of them from the side, obviously. And then you just want to print it. I'm going to do fill. There's a lot of different ways you can do this. You can just outline and paint that, but because I don't want to do that, I'm just going to cut out her frame very precisely. Okay. Precisely, but I'm going to take off her hair right here. Well, maybe I won't. I don't know how it would look. I'll do a little bit off the hair. First, I'm just going to take off all this. Then we can make it more precise. Now we just want to Her nose is so cute. It just goes straight up. <laughs> It kind of reminds me of the, um, what's that Christmas movie? You know what I'm talking about? The Grinch, where their nose goes straight up and they have like a ball on the end of their nose. Cindy Lou Who. I always called her my Cindy Lou Who because of that. So cute. Now, if I were to just cut that off, it would look weird, you know, even though her hair is there. So we're just going to take that off. So you can see the outline there. And uh, up here for her hair, I am going to... She's got lots of volume <laughs> in this picture. She does. Because she had her hair up in braids and I took them out. So it was really fluffy at the top. It's usually not like that though. She has very, very thick hair. Oh, another thing, this right here, this blacker part, um, or it's more black, that's actually a shadow on the wall. So when you take your picture, try not to get a shadow because it can interfere with how it comes out. If you want to do just their face and not their body, you can definitely, um, you can definitely just take it of their face up closer. I'm just going to outline her hair because her hair has grown so much since the last time I have made one of these. I'm just going to kind of make it look like hair right here because her hair does flip on the end. She's got little curls on the end of her hair. And I, main reason why I did her full body like this is because I did want to get her hair in there. See how her hair just goes right here and then up on top. And then it's real long. See if I was to cut it off like that and do just her face like that, all of her hair would be cut off there. So there's that. If that distracts you, you can always turn it around and see what you got and what you're working with. You can definitely just uh, glue this onto a piece of colored paper like that. Just, you know, say that this was a colored piece of paper, you can definitely just do it like that. But I'm going to go ahead and paint this black and I'm going to glue it on there like that. And this is Kodak photo paper. I think it's pretty self-explanatory, but you're going to need some paint of the color, whatever color you want, something to hold your paint, and some brushes. I love using these fun brushes. I don't know why. And then, oh, I'll need something to glue your image down on. You can use tape too, but I'm just going to use the mod. You could do this with your pets. You could do this with... No, what else is there other than pets and people? 
trees. With anything, really. I'm gonna let that dry because obviously it's not all the way black. So I'm gonna let it dry and then I'll come back and do another coat for you guys. Whoa! Or for me. <laughs> Second coat is done. Now that that's all dry, we're just gonna glue this onto the paper. Bet you guys didn't see that one coming, did you? 